sitting here talking to myself, man. And what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Your boy Rich Nificent here representing the Sticky Paddle Gaming Network, bringing you the Vita update. First things first, happy late birthday to the PlayStation Vita. It turned the big number one on February 22nd for us here in the United States and in Europe. Man, it has been a great year in my opinion, and it's only going to get better, believe that. Now what you're seeing here is a little bit of gameplay from Urban Trial Freestyle, and then here in a few seconds I'll show you this game, Ecolibrium. Just a couple new games that have recently dropped for the PlayStation Vita. Now in this first game, Urban Trial Freestyle, which dropped last week for both PlayStation 3 and PS Vita, is freaking addictive, man. I downloaded the demo and like 10 minutes later went ahead and bought the whole game. It's just an awesome on-the-go title, man, filled with tons of obstacles, tons of challenges, what I probably like most about it, throughout all the levels, when you come up on a challenge, there's a billboard behind it in the background. And on this billboard is the current record setter's picture and score. So it's pretty sweet once you knock them out and your picture replaces theirs. Also, at any time during the game, you could just reset it by pressing triangle to attempt challenges over and over. So if you haven't tried out this game, man, go on and get it. The demo's free. I'm sure you'll love it. It's worth the $9.99 for the whole game, or if you're a PlayStation Plus member, $7.99. I think on the PS3, it's maybe $13.99 or something like that. So go on and check it out, man. Don't shortchange yourself. That demo's free, so go on and get it. But speaking of the PlayStation... By now, I'm sure everyone knows, the PlayStation 4 will be dropping in November. Now this can mean big things for the PlayStation Vita. We've all heard the talk about all PS4 games being playable on the PS Vita, but being able to actually stream games at an optimal performance has got this guy excited. Also, the possibility of all games being remote play would be great, especially for people, I don't know who say, share a TV. Just being able to go directly from your PS4 to the PS Vita like the Wii U would be incredible. Now the president of Sony's Worldwide Studios, let me see if I say this right, Shuhi Yoshida has said that remote play will work for all PS4 games day one on release, unless it's a camera only game. Now we've been promised this feature for a while now and I'm not holding my breath but at the same time I'm hoping not to be disappointed, you dig? But on to some other things, there's some new apps expected to drop for the PlayStation Vita this spring and one of those apps is called Friend Network. This is a unique social app that allows users to interact with friends and different people in an entirely brand new way. You'll be able to grow up your own city and whatnot, and I think the objective is to get like 100 friends within your network. You can also link your Twitter and your Facebook. I haven't really looked, read up on it too much. Doesn't look too appealing right now, but I'm sure I'll get it when it drops and I give you the thumbs up or the thumbs down. You dig? Also, another app dropping is called Imagine Instruments. With this app, users will be able to make and create their own songs from scratch and save them directly to your PlayStation Vita. This is looking pretty promising because for one, I think I'd, I'd like to think I have maybe just a little bit of musical talent. Maybe I can make a beat or two on this thing. We'll just have to see when it drops, man, you know? Now on to this other game, Ecolibrium. This is pretty much a game where you build like your own alien ecosystem, if you will. Now I haven't got too much into this game, that's why my ecosystem looks a little bit brittle, bare, and neglected. But pretty much maintaining balance to your ecosystem is the key to this game. Everything from wildlife to plant life to the seasons changing, it is all a factor in this game. Overall pretty good, and also, once again guys, it's free. Don't shortchange yourself. Download it. If you don't like it, delete it. It's free. Go on and scoop it up. Speaking of free, this is the last week to get your free PlayStation Mobile games, and this week it is OMG Zombies! So, also, free. Download it. It's free. Go get it. But one more thing before I let y'all go, man. I want to start doing something different with the PlayStation Vita update, and that is using nothing but PlayStation Vita gameplay. And I want to make this a sub-participation thing. So if any of my Vita users out there have any awesome Vita gameplay they've recorded, hit me up here on YouTube or hit me up on Skype. Send it to me on YouTube. We'll get it up. We'll use that. That's what I want to do. I think everyone will enjoy that, and I just love seeing awesome gameplay from other Vita users. So... I want to try and do that. Hit me up. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments section. I'll get back with you if you send me some footage. Let you know. Give you a shout out. You know the rest. Anything else? Hmm. No, I guess not. Wait a minute. I haven't cussed through this entire commentary. What the fuck's really going on? I mean, shit. Well, anyway, you know the deal. Sub, like, comment, share, favorite with everyone. What's the deal? Your boy Rich Nificent saying, suck my motherfucking Vita and always, always keep it sticky.